Alright, I'm going to make a little video here, and it's going to take a minute, but anybody that's been having trouble with this, and I've seen a few people that have, uh, maybe this will help you out a little bit. So, if you've been wanting to play around with the Yuzu emulator, and you have an AMD graphics card, and you're running Windows, the best option that I've found so far is to actually plug my monitor output coming from my integrated graphics and use my Intel integrated graphics with the emulator on Windows because on Windows the OpenGL drivers are horrible. Well, the drivers are a lot better on Linux and Yuzu works on Linux with your video card your external GPU, or whatever you want to call it, your graphics card, if you're running Linux. And I am particularly using Manjaro XFCE. I'll have the links to all of these different websites in the description and a brief explanation. But what you want to do is go to manjaro.org, download XFCE, and just save it to your downloads folder. It's going to be an ISO file. Then you want to go to rufus.ie, link will be in the description, and I use the portable version here. So download the portable version, just save it to your downloads folder like normal. Um, there's going to be some settings that you have to change to put, uh, to install Manjaro onto your flash in what they call DD mode through Rufus. This little short one minute video that'll be in the description. Look at it, it'll show you how to make your flash and get ready to boot into uh, Manjaro. This is just kind of a little joke link. Uh, t if you don't know how to boot your computer from USB, just look up your motherboard model or the computer model and how to boot it from USB. And then there you go. Once you boot from USB, this video will show you your basic settings to go through so that you can create your partitions and install this alongside Windows. But I made my install a lot smaller, but for simplicity, I would go with exactly what this guy does in this video unless you know what you're doing. Um, I only had 20 gigabytes to play with, so I did a little differently, but that doesn't matter. Finish this, and once you're done, and you install, and you are finished installing, you'll reboot into Manjaro. And when you get in and you see this page, go to the bottom right. There's a little shield right here. Right click it. I'm, it might have been left click when I first installed, but it'll say that you have a lot of updates. Go ahead and update everything when everything's done downloading, installing, it's finished with updates. If you want to, go ahead and restart. Restart, boot back into Manjaro, then come back to this little shield right here, click it again, and go to Package Manager. Once you're in Package Manager, just go to the little search and look for SNDIO. When it pops up, I have it installed already, but you'll want to click this and you'll want to apply or tell it to install, whatever that option is here. I'm really uh, more used to Windows, so not very good with this. Once that installs, you should be good to install and run Yuzu, but I'm just going to go ahead and say... I did come here, and the link will be in the description as well, and I installed all the dependencies for if you were building Yuzu, because that's how I was updating before. So you don't have to do this, but if you want to, it's just one, two, three, four commands that I ran, and I'll have the commands and this source in the link in the description. So then, uh, you could finish installing and go to run Yuzu, and you're going to run into this wall. It's going to say that you need this file. Well, you don't have the file, and if you just run this command, which will be in the description, in a terminal, just copy this, and open a terminal, paste.
paste in the command and when you hit that it should link and basically every time Yuzu looks for that 6.1 file it will actually direct it to the 7.0 newer uh, updated version of the file and it should come right on but eh, it comes to Yuzu so got the link in the description downloads you're gonna go to the bottom right hand side of this page canary the latest build you wanna click the penguin click the penguin save it I've already done that but you wanna save it in your downloads folder now let me see let me open all of these up okay so when you have this open you want to right click your yuzu tar.exe and you want to tell it to extract here when it extracts here you'll have this folder now you're really close <laughs> open up a terminal and then you want to type in cd space drag this folder and drop it into the terminal then click the window again so that you focus it and hit enter now that you hit enter, all you have to do is hit dot slash yuzu. And see, we just launched Yuzu. And the beauty behind this is you're launching it every time using the terminal and this folder. So when you update to a newer version, you'll just have a new folder here. And if you run into a problem with the newer version, you just drag and drop the other version back into this terminal and uh, CD to it as well, you know, type in dot slash yuzu and you use the uh, other version. So that's pretty nice. But now I don't have my key files installed. So I'm just gonna, I'll just go ahead and kill that for now. Let's see, which window is which? <laughs> Alright, these are my files. And here is, yep, that's where this is going to go. So to get to this folder, uh, the easiest way that I found when you're installing your keys and whatnot, just go ahead and do the CD into your folder. And then go ahead and launch the emulator. Dot slash yuzu. Just go ahead and hit OK and then here you can say open yuzu folder and it'll bring you right to where you want to put your keys and files which is the same spot here so go ahead and open it up that way and got my system data and my keys I'll drop them in and then I can go ahead and set my game directory which I want that to be my downloads folder so I just took my Pokemon game dropped it in my downloads I should be done with that folder now unless I go back for saves later but go here go to downloads and then this is where my game is so let's go Pikachu yay I'm gonna close that one more time CD oh I'm already CD'd into it dot slash yuzu enter I don't know if I have my save in yet. Oh, crap. Let me set up some controls real quick. Uh, diddle, configure. We want to go to. Well, let me just check this real quick. Uh, that looks fine for now. We want to go here, go to configure. In fact, hang on. <clears throat> I like going to custom Joy-Cons dot we have A I'm using the Xbox 360 controller with a little dongle I've just had it forever got left right up down left stick oh we don't even have to do that hit ah come on set analog stick and then you just move it to the left and then up and then the right analog stick left up now the shoulder buttons to make these correct 
you want to click this and then click your left shoulder button but for the other shoulder button uh, ZL hold down your left trigger then click this button then let go of it see how it says access plus two if I clicked the L button here and then press my L button well maybe they fixed that oh there we go see how it's negative that's hitting the button the normal way but if I hold down the button then hit it and then let go of the button it's correct I don't know why that's backwards but that's a thing <laughs> you're welcome R key now for ZR your your R2 hold down the button click it and then let go of the button uh, you got your plus and minus is start and select and that should be fine for that part let's go ahead and hit F11 confirm does it have my save file oh maybe I did remember to bring it over might have to change some settings that seems a little choppy but we're installed and we're running off of our ATI video card in Linux. And the text is working. Let's start a fight. Uh, I don't think I can fight with you, can I? Ugh. Okay. Well, now I guess I'm gonna do a little bit of gameplay <laughs> until I can find somebody to fight. Lost been a while since I played. Definitely need to mess with some settings because it's... I need to limit it to the 30 frames per second it sounds like. Ah! But I'll have to stop emulation for that and I want to see what it looks like in a fight real quick. Where can I... I need a root. Okay. And I also uh, haven't even went into drivers. You want to check, and I guess here in a second I'll do that before I end this video. You want to check for the newest Mesa drivers, or Mesa drivers, and maybe there's, I know there should be different renditions of the driver for AMD, or whatever. Let me just go this way. Is there an opening to go to the woods somewhere? I want to start a fight and I don't feel like chasing them. Definitely got to be some settings I can tweak. Do you want to fight? Yay. Oh, text is working. It's actually been running better for me recently on Windows. Alright, so to save, which button is it? Over here. Yeah, just go ahead and save. I gotta go northwest next time I actually play. Alright, so let's end emulation for now. And uh, on the drivers, which I'm going to be playing around with that some more. Package Manager. Mesa. Do-do-do, and open source implementation. 
Yeah, this is where I got my Mesa drivers, and that's installed, so... And then there's, of course, Vulcan, which I don't think it's anywhere close to coming out for Yuzu. But yeah, I've got to look around at some of these, like, I'm not sure. There's got to be something going on with drivers as well. But let me just look here real quick. OpenGL compatibility. Let me try not using that for a second. I'm going to try forcing that. Let's see what that acts like. Guess if I do it like this, I can see my frames. Ooh. Nope. There's a crash. So it didn't like that. I don't know. I'll have to play around with some other so I just hmm. I don't remember having to use compatibility mode before. Oh, for the hell of it, I know this was crashing it real bad before. See what you do, bud. Well, I think it already crashed. <laughs> yep. Alright, so, uh, <laughs> it's a work in progress for sure. And it could very well be driver related because I have had it running a lot better on here, but I just installed and I just got it running. So I'm going to fiddle around with it a little bit and see what I get. But it seems like, unless it's just going to randomly crash now too, it should be running fine with these settings. It's just choppy as hell. So, it'll be something to play around some more with. It does work. I just need to, uh, yeah, play with it some more. Uh, hopefully that helps somebody out. I know uh, a few people I've seen trying to get this working on Linux, and maybe it'll even work better for you. I have a really old card. I mean, not super old, but it's a uh, R9290X double dissipation. And it's, what, probably about eight years old now, I think? So anyway, maybe it'll work out better for somebody else. I don't know. Maybe you'll get lucky. <laughs> but alright, yeah. You guys take it easy. <laughs> Peace.